Today I'm playing Total Eclipse Turbo for the PS1. I am playing this on a PS3 using a DualSense controller for the PS5, so I'm touching a lot of different generations here. I am posting this video on the same day as the big solar eclipse that's happening in North America. Millions of people will be watching it, but if for some reason you can't see it because you're too far away or whatever, you actually can tell people you saw the eclipse today by watching this video because you're watching me play Total Eclipse. I know, not very funny, but uh, that's the gimmick for today. And to stay on theme, I'll be playing this entire game with solar eclipse glasses on. Actually, I cannot see anything through these, so that was just a joke. But I will be playing as much as the game as I can get through. I played the game yesterday, and uh, let's just say it gets hard at certain points. I'm bound to reach one of those points today, and in that case, I'll just stop the video. But hopefully, you'll see a large portion of this video, of this game. So let's go ahead and enter the game here. This was made by Crystal Dynamics. They used to make games for the 3DO. This game was originally on the 3DO, and they ported it back. They ported a lot of their 3DO games onto the PS1, and they were a developer for the PS1 and the Saturn for a little bit. Crystal Dynamics is still around today. They are best known for Gex, but uh, they've made most of their money off the Tomb Raider reboot series that began in like 2013. In fact, right now they are creating another Tomb Raider game that hasn't been named. So it's nice to actually play a game from a company that's still around because usually when I grab a game off my shelf of retro, retro games, many of those studios have closed. So I'm gonna skip most of the cutscenes today these look good for their time, but uh, it's a very basic plot. There's an enemy trying to, to destroy you and your army or whatever, and that enemy actually has a weapon that destroys stars, so uh, you need to kill them before they can use it. In this cutscene here, they're going to use it to destroy a star. I don't think it's ac I don't think this is our actual sun or whatever. But anyway, I'm getting uh, getting off on a tangent already. Let's play the, the game. That's the look of the enemy right there. The original game was called Total Eclipse on the 3DO system, but when they brought it to the PlayStation, they added Turbo to the end of the game, Total Eclipse Turbo. But other than that name, nothing has changed as far as I know. They just, they just for some reason wanted to add that. So I'm not gonna mess with any options or anything. I'm just gonna hit play game. I'm gonna skip this cutscene. All right, let's go. This had a sequel on the Sega Saturn and it was called Solar Eclipse. I might play that one day. So, um, it's a third person shooter, basically. And I will say it's a little difficult to hit these enemies. That is a weapon that I just picked up, and my shots are now a little bit different. You can upgrade each kind of weapon three times. If you look, I, I'm probably covering it up, but there is a weapon meter in the top left, and it indicates whether or not you've upgraded your weapon to the uh, first, second, or third level or whatever. I can also speed up and slow down. I'm speeding up right now, even though it doesn't look like it. And right here I have to fly into this tunnel. And this is where the game tightens up a little bit. I have to slow down sometimes here to make the turns. I'll just hit the brakes so I can show you how slow I go when I'm at my slowest speed here. but. I don't want to go that slow. This stage would take forever. Uh, you have a shield in the top left. That was a smart bomb I just got. I haven't used any of my smart bombs yet. 
Um, I will say it's real hard to steer the ship. <laughs> it does not have analog support. So I have to use the D-pad to make these uh, course corrections. And it's hard to uh, do it precisely. Uh, I was talking about the shields in the top right. When that runs out, you die. There's a green meter there. You have to shoot enemies to keep refilling your, uh, your shields. There's also some shield health power-ups you can get. I have to time this carefully here. So there's incentive to actually shoot the enemies instead of dodging them. Of course, if you go after them, they might shoot lasers into you and you lose your shields anyway. And I've taken a lot of damage here, so I do need to uh, refill my shield for the next stage here. These outdoor areas, they look good for the time. This came out in 1996, I want to say. And uh, that's pretty smooth, scrolling and stuff. It kind of looks like the Jaguar, if you ever played any of the 3D, 3D games on the Atari Jaguar. That's a shield power up, which I needed. This is a different weapon here. This is my favorite weapon. I'll try to stay on this. It's on level two now. That's a shield. Oh, I'm not sure if I got it. It's hard to actually um, pinpoint it. It's hard to actually shoot the enemies and get those power ups with, with the way the controllers are. But back in the day, I would have loved a game like this. It's obviously dated, outdated by now. This, like I said, this scrolling is just so smooth. I was comparing it to Jaguar. Jaguar doesn't do scrolling as good as this game does, at least on the games that I've played for it. This is what the Jaguar should have looked like in all their games. I'm going to go slowly here because there's a lot of stuff to wreck into. If you wreck into these walls, you lose your shield health really fast. So what I need to do to power up my weapon is to go over to uh, go over the weapon icon three different times each time you uh, it's hard to explain like each weapon has its own icon if you go over the same icon three times you upgrade it to the highest level so the trick is to get keep getting the same weapon over and over again uh, I have trouble memorizing the different icons and which weapon is the best and stuff because they just kind of use a generic icon for each. Eventually I'm going to be fighting a boss here if I make it far enough. And there is a Gradius effect in this game, meaning when you get killed, it'll downgrade your weapon at least one level. Let's get this one. Okay, once again, that's my favorite one, the uh, infinity symbol one, because it spreads out a little bit. Here we go, now I can upgrade it to level three. And it doesn't look any different, but it's indicating it's level 3 now. And I have to keep killing these enemies to keep up with my shields. It looks like the shields slowly drain even when you're not being hit. I could be wrong about that. It, it, is, it is hard to tell when the enemy is hitting you with its bullets. And it's hard to hit them with your own bullets, too, so... Not a perfect game. There's different ways you can take through this landscape, which is kind of cool. I w do not like the tunnel stages as much as these outdoor stages. The whole game should be like this, and it would be wonderful.
But speaking of the Gradius effect, um, when you get killed, it goes down a level, and you can kind of get trapped in a difficulty in a difficult level with a weak weapon, just like you do in Gradius if you get killed. I think I can go over that wall, but it's hard to tell. The hit detection is a little circumspect. Uh, it's real easy to hit the ground and to hit the walls, even when it looks like you're not touching them. So, oh well. I've yet to use a smart bomb. I have three of them on hand. There's a shield power up. I want it. Almost missed it. I love the look of those ships. Now on the PS1, this game did come out as a long box. It originally came out as a long box version, and I think that was a launch game for the PS1. And I have the uh, the version that's not that wasn't in the long box. They didn't have those for too long. It was early in the life of the PS1. Now right here, there's not much up and down at all. I have to just do right and left for some reason. I'm just going to ignore that base because when I head toward those bases and try to destroy them, uh, they typically hit me more often than I hit them. I'll try to destroy this one. Okay. Nose is itching. Oh, I forgot, I can, I can do barrel turns. I don't want to do it on this stage though uh, with the trigger buttons like this. But uh, it's more than likely going to get me killed <laughs> if I use it too much. You can kind of use it to dodge the projectiles. Now see that guy hit me and I didn't even see anything. These things are really hard to kill. They're so small. I think I can fly over these. It's hard to tell. I'm trying to uh, conserve my smart bombs for the boss. Right here, if you miss this tunnel, you wreck into the wall and die. It sucks when that happens. No, I did not want to go over that. Well, this weapon isn't too bad. Oh! Oh no! No, 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 no. That did not just happen. Well, at least I got that weapon power up again. There's another one. Now, I can't power up anymore, but... I'm on level 3 for that weapon, so hopefully I can keep that for a while. Shield power-ups. Like I said, I'm going to eventually hit a difficulty wall. That was an extra smart bomb I just drove over, or flew over, whatever. It's so hard to hit these guys. Look at this. I'm hitting the ground trying to hit those guys. I don't want to complain too much. This is a game that looks very well for its time period. I'm going to ignore all those. Here's the boss. He fires this heat-seeking fireball eventually, and it can destroy your entire shield pretty much. So. When he starts doing that, I'll start using the smart bombs. And what it does is it stops the fireball. There it is. Whoa, that was close. I think it did hit me, actually. He has a meter in the uh, far left there. Or right, I mean. almost dead. There we go. Not too bad. He kicked my butt yesterday when I did a practice run of this game. And I am going to watch this cutscene just to give my brain a rest. Or at least some of it. 
Yeah, I got promoted to captain. <laughs> okay. He's just talking about additional targets. That building is going to be a common building in the next stage here. You're basically hopping from planetary system to planetary system. I, there's like six or seven of these stages. There is a password at the bottom of the screen, actually. And I can actually save that, and I will. I'm not sure if I saw at the beginning of the game how I could execute that save, but I'm playing from the beginning anyway, so. I'm just gonna hold on to this weapon because it seems okay. This star thing is just points. And you can actually get, um, if you get a lot of points, you can get extra lives in this game. So at least there's incentive for getting points because normally I don't care about points. The lava effect looks really cool here. Hey, I, did I actually touch that weapon? Yeah, somehow. I don't like this weapon. I'm, I'm flying pretty slow here. Intentionally. It gives me more time to hit these enemies before they hit me. Oh! What happened? Oh man, that's so disappointing when you die and you don't feel it's justified. Well, I got this weapon back anyway. I, I don't know if I ran into the scenery or if I just ran into a bunch of enemy projectiles. Oh, what's that? There's a point thing in the middle of the volcano. Yeah, I can't... Like I said, the biggest complaint in this game, I can't hit things and it's hard to dodge things when they're hitting you. I've never made it to the second boss. Maybe I will this time, we'll see. I don't feel like I'm doing that bad, it's just two really sudden deaths that happen. But I haven't had to use a continue. And as long as I don't miss this, I'm into the next stage. By the way, the, uh, you, it was not up there anymore, but there's a really cool radar that's at the top of the screen that shows like the upcoming terrain and stuff. I thought it's really well done. I feel like hitting the brakes, but there's shootable doors. I don't know what you have to do here. Go. I can't hit that guy. Ah, oh, I hate this part. Go, 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 go. Speed up. There we go. Not too bad. I'm a professional gamer. Did you know that? I should go into some of those competitions. Just kidding. I, I've played so bad in a lot of these videos. There's a little bit more delay when you're recording. I can use that as an excuse, but it's a few milliseconds of extra delay. Plus the fact that I'm on camera, I don't know, makes me play worse. That's a weapon I haven't picked up yet, but I'm just gonna keep this one. Like, why would I not want this weapon that spreads out? It's, it's hard to hit things in this game, so you need things, to, you need their, your shots to spread out. Now the shots might be kind of weak, but you can see I'm taking everything out. And this is still, this weapon's still in level two. I'm gonna skip that one. Oh. Yeah, sometimes you hit a wall and it doesn't hardly damage you at all, and other times it's like, kills you fully. Stupid. 
game. I think this is the furthest I've ever gotten in this game. Of course, it's only my second day playing. I have a feeling they're going to throw all kinds of shit at me here. Yeah, it's a little too tight for my taste. Cool. Slow down. Slow down, Kevin. I sound like my driving instructor who taught me how to drive. At some point he had to hit his brakes because I was going too fast. Guys, the driving instructor has his own set of brakes if you've ever driven in one of those cars. I'm talking about something that happened like 30 years ago or something, like it was yesterday. But there's certain points of time where I have a, a good memory about things. Come on, give me an enemy because I need to refill my shields here. I will say these stages are a little bit too long as well. I think they could have got away with shorter stages and it still would have been just as fun. Oh, look at my shield now. I might die and have to go through all this, all this over again. I think this is the end though. I can speed up here. Come on. Just end the stage. <laughs> Looks like a colonoscopy. Oh my god. Whoops, I switched weapons because I wasn't thinking quick enough. I'm gonna have to start using my smart bombs to survive here. See that? I, my shield was almost gone, and then I used one smart bomb and... Destroyed a couple buildings and it floated up. I hate it when I start talking and I just pause in the middle of my thought. <laughs> it happens when I play games. See, this is much better than watching the actual equips. Which I am going to watch. Uh, me and my wife are heading toward it. It's I'm filming this the day before. Yeah, no, it's just a shadow, and shadows happen all the time with planetary bodies, and sometimes you're in that shadow, and humans think that's a big deal. It is a rare thing. I'll give them that. Oh, how did I miss that thing? <laughs> Jesus. I want a refund. Actually, this game was only about five bucks. I found it at a game store... I, I thought of this idea of doing an Eclipse game, and I found this at a game store nearby. Let's get this one. There we go. What? What just happened? How did I die? Now I'm at level one for this weapon. It's still pretty good at level one, but I don't think the shots are as powerful. I think I got that. See, I'm hitting the ground here. But I have to fly through here. I can't go up anymore. Why am I hitting the ground? Oh, I should have got that icon. I'm on level two right now. I could have upgraded it to level uh, three. But I'm doing all right. Where's the damn boss at? By the way, do you think this music goes with this game? <laughs> A lot of people don't. I did read some reviews on this game, and I don't think it does either. 
Oh, come on. There's no purpose in having a shield meter if that's going to just happen. I'll slow down a little bit here. It Look, even when it's going slow, it's hard to dodge and not run into the wall. I really... You should never uh, complain about analog support. It, it changed games forever. It, gave, it gives you more precision. Of course, this is an early game in the PlayStation 1 lifetime, so they didn't have the analog stick out yet. And they didn't go back and make uh, an addition that has analog support like they did with like Resident Evil or whatever. Those uh, bar things, they, they look, uh, op look like obstacles, but they're not. They're actually, um, they slow you down or speed you up. I, they don't seem to serve any purpose to me. Um, yeah, let's get this. Why not? Ah, that's the bad weapon. This is actually the standard weapon that you start off with. So let's get this one again. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm surprised that didn't kill me. This is a long stage. Uh, one comparable game to this would be Star Fox. Of course, that was on the Super Nintendo. That was a previous generation to this. So, but honestly, I'd rather play Star Fox. It's just more fun. And I will say it controls better, I think. These aren't the worst controls I've played on a game like this, but. Oh, am, am I supposed to fly through here? Oh my gosh, it's getting tight. What? I think I just got hit by a bunch of projectiles. I do think I'm getting close to a boss here, if I can survive. Need to power up my weapon. Look, this is level one of whatever weapon this is called, the Infinity Symbol weapon. Yeah. Oh my god, that same thing killed me. The same guy. I need to uh, be more to the left. Let's see if I can take a different route altogether. Sometimes it seems like there are multiple routes, but this one looks a lot tighter than the other stages. Get away from me! I'm gonna use my smart bomb here. There we go, that took care of him. Oh, God! Please, leave me alone! Yeah, I think it's because uh, they're, they're increasing the difficulty, so there's more projectiles coming from the enemies here. Alright, well, I'm gonna continue, and we'll see how far back it puts me. I'm gonna keep playing no matter how far back. Wow, this... Is this, is this where I just was? No, I don't think so. Oh, it put me way back. I remember complaining about this part. Oh well, I'm just going to keep playing and keep enjoying the game. Let's grab that thingy. What you want to do is just bring one of the weapons up to level 3. And try to hang on to it. There, I'm at level 2 for this one.
Let me know if you have played this game and what did you think of it. Have you played the sequel, Solar Eclipse, Eclipse, which was on the Saturn. It was also on the PlayStation 1 in Europe only. The, the sequel was. I think the sequel was a, a better game from what I read. I'm gonna die. What is that? Is that should power up? Yes. Ah, went back to the standard weapon. I can't think fast enough. Yeah, you do not want to use these controls in a tight corridor like this. This is this is where the game fails the most. I've not used this weapon yet, so let's see how it fares. Seems to be spreading all over the place. No, no, don't hit that. Yeah, seems okay. Oh, I hate this part. Is this where I was before? When I was having difficulty? I can't tell. Yeah, there are there is some repetition with the enemies here. That is an extra smart bomb. I'll go ahead and use one. I don't even know if I touched that. Oh god, I'm getting hit like crazy. Oh no, 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 no. The Gradius effect. They put you further back with a weak weapon. That's your penalty for dying. Dying's not enough of a penalty. The developers are like, we really want them to be, to be set back if they die. They need to be punished. These players. The projectiles from these enemies just come in so fast, there's no way to use these controls, as far as I can tell, uh, to dodge them. Even these guys, look. It's crazy. I'll just go back and forth like this, I guess. Avoidance. That's the key. I'm just gonna start using my smart bombs more often. Get lost. All right, I'm out of smart bombs. I don't know if they're called smart bombs, but that's just my generic term. I think that term comes from the game Defender, if you ever played that on like the Atari or whatever. All right. We're in the path of totality. Totality. Oh my god. Well, at least I made it to the next checkpoint. Let's go this way. And let's speed up. Let's speed up. It won't go any faster. Oh my god! Ah, What were they thinking? Well, I know I'm thinking I'm going to use a smart bomb. There we go. Let's use another one. Ever gonna see another boss? That's kind of like my goal here to get to the next boss, but I'm on my final life here. 
I'm pretty sure the boss is going to kill me a couple of times before I learn the pattern, you know, so. was on red so I had to use another smart bomb <gasps> oh my lord it looks like I'm driving erratically I'm telling you it's just the, con the controls driving I mean flying whatever am I supposed to go through here all right let's speed up a little bit boys Come on, I just want to kill an enemy. Kill an enemy, enemy, Jesus. <clears throat> oh, there's a new enemy. Oh, I don't know if I want to get close to it. Oh. Alrighty, folks. If I hit continue, I'm going to have to drive through that same section again. I'm progressing, but uh, uh, I'm not enjoying the game as much as I should. So I'm just going to call the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you didn't get to see the actual equips, you got to see this one. There's a couple other videos on the screen right here. Watch one of those, and I'll see you next time.